In this video, I'll show you how you can transform a raw dataset like this into a fully interactive dashboard in just a few seconds using the power of AI. And no, this isn't an exaggeration, so let's get into it. The first and fastest method is to use an AI spreadsheet called Bricks, and this is just one of the four methods that we'll look at, and you'll see some work better than others. I'm going to be using the free version over here, and you'll notice that I get this pop-up asking me to create with AI whether we want a spreadsheet or we want a report or dashboard, so that's the one that we'll click on. From here, we can just upload a file. In our case, it's an Excel file. So here's the file that I'm working with. You can see it's roughly got 100 rows of data and it's on the richest people in the world. So it's got their name, their industry, if they're self-made, their gender, and a few other data points. If you want to follow along, you can download this file for free in the video description. So let's click on upload in here and my file is on the downloads. Yours might be somewhere else and I'm just going to open it. You can see right now it's generating the dashboard for us and just give it a second for it to load. Awesome, and in just a few seconds, it's been able to create this entire dashboard. On the top part, it's got some overview and insights, and if we scroll lower down, that's where we have the different visuals. First, it's got the wealth distribution by region and gender. And if we scroll lower down, we have the top 10 countries by total billionaire wealth, where the US is clearly standing out. We can hover over each of these, and you can see we have the highlight and this pop-up as well. If we keep scrolling down, there is some more data in here too. As you've seen, we didn't even have to enter a prompt, type anything manually, or even generate some chart ideas, it's done everything on its own. That said, if there's particular parts you don't like, maybe this one I don't quite like, I can always click on it, I can change the title like that quite easily as you can see, or even better, I can change the chart type just by pressing on this edit button. Right now I have the data in a bar chart, but I can switch that quite easily to maybe change it to a horizontal bar, you can see what that looks like there. I can even change it to go from descending to ascending just like that. And I just need to press on save to board for all of that to be updated as you can see right here. That's not all though. If we actually go to the left hand side over here where you can see we have all these different tabs, we can start to understand what it's done. So pressing on this data button, that's basically the data we uploaded from Excel in our case. And it's just put it into a table. Then in this dashboard data tab, it's done the actual analysis where you can see things are split by visual. So first for the top billionaires by industry, we have this separate visual, this other one for the self-made versus inherited wealth too. So this is really like a pivot table. And with all of that, it's put it together into a dashboard like this. So you can see this is really a super powerful tool to generate dashboards in seconds. And no, I'm not sponsored by Bricks. Awesome, that's the first tool, but what about other more popular AI tools like Claude, ChatGPT, or Copilot? How do they compare and can they maybe even do something better? First up, let's try with Claude, which is actually quite similar to ChatGPT in the sense that it's a generalist AI tool. It's also got a free version, which is what I'm currently on here to test it out. Generally though, when importing data into these chat-like AI tools, I prefer to actually convert my data into a CSV file. So right now it's in Excel, but I'm just going to convert it by pressing the F12 key. That's the same thing as going to file save as. Instead of an Excel workbook, I'm just going to switch that to a CSV file, then just press on save. Awesome, now jumping back into Claude, I'm simply going to upload the file. In my case, I've just put it here under my desktop. For the prompt, I've added the following. It says, here's some data on billionaires in CSV format. Can you analyze it and suggest two KPIs and four visuals to create a world billionaires dashboard. Also explain why you chose each metric. Let's go ahead and run that. Awesome, so it's generated two KPIs up above and then it's adding four different types of charts down below. In my opinion, with these AI tools, it's generally better to be much more specific. As you can see here, I suggested two KPIs and four visuals instead of just saying something like create a dashboard. So now that we have the suggestions, the next step is to actually create the dashboard so a prompt that could make sense is something like this. So I want you to create a dashboard with these KPIs and visualizations using HTML. So it should use HTML, JavaScript, and Chart.js for visualizations. I find it a lot better when I specify exactly what kind of visuals I want with which tools. So let's go ahead and hit enter here. And just so you know, this might take a while. 
Awesome, it looks like it's now finished. Let me actually stretch this out so we can see it a bit better. So it's actually created three KPIs instead of two as we requested, but let's keep going here. It's got the wealth distribution by industry and when you hover over it, you can see the colors are changing. And there's also a bit of a KPI pop-up down here. For example, when we go on this one, you can see it has the actual details of each. If we scroll lower down, we've got the age versus wealth scatter plot. I think this maybe has a bit too much information with all of the industries as well. Kind of makes it harder to read. And then at the bottom here, we've got the self-made versus inherited wealth by gender. So overall, I think this is a pretty good first step, but unlike Bricks, you can't actually go in and change the data yourself simply by clicking on it. You would have to do that over here with the responses on the side. Awesome, so that's what it's like creating dashboards with Claude. And one important thing to note is that even if you have the exact same prompt as me, you might not always get the same answer, which is one of the big frustrations with this tool. Thirdly, we've got ChatGPT, which is probably the most popular AI tool. So let's see how it works. I have the exact same prompt as before and I've uploaded the file as well. And sorry to break it to you, but in my experience, this one doesn't work as well as the other two. That said, let's give it one final chance here. So it's suggesting these two KPIs and some visuals down below. Let's say it's all good until there. And now we're gonna ask it to create a dashboard. There's the exact same prompt as before and I'll just hit enter. Awesome, so it looks like it's finished writing the code and now let's actually tell it to maybe give this as an HTML downloadable file for us to be able to see it. Here's the file on the side, so I'm just gonna click on that so we can preview it. Here it is and you can see overall the dashboard isn't quite as nice as the other two versions that we've seen earlier. In fact, I'm not sure why this one's so small, it could be a lot bigger and it's not really like a dashboard that I think you could easily present to others. So ChatGPT, in my opinion, still has quite a bit of work with this. Finally, let's take a look at Microsoft Copilot, which is the built-in tool inside of Excel, Word, and many other Microsoft applications. So hopefully that's a lot easier to use, and maybe we can even create a dashboard inside of Excel. And to activate Copilot, which you can see I have here on the side, you might need some of the paid versions of Excel. So down on the bottom, I'm just going to paste the prompt that I have in mind, where I just want them to create the exact same thing that we've been doing so far. So you can see right now it's already telling us I encountered an issue while analyzing the data, but it can still suggest some stuff. So you can see it's got two KPIs and some visuals, which seem to be quite relevant to the actual data that we're working with. So knowing that, let's go ahead and ask it to create an actual dashboard. Let's see what happens. So here's the answer and it's telling us that it actually encountered an issue, which is a very common experience I found with using Copilot. It says that you can actually make this manually, but we already know that you can. The whole point is to try to test this, though it doesn't quite work the way we would want. Overall, some of these AI tools, especially Bricks, I think is super impressive. However, a key limitation is that these dashboards aren't in Excel or in Power BI, which are some of the more common softwares that companies use. Instead, you can see here, we just have it as things like an HTML file for this ChatGPT one. And if I were to ask this to convert it into Excel, for instance, it generally doesn't do a great job. A second limitation comes with working with very large data sets in the thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows of data. Then I find that it really struggles and takes a lot longer to create these dashboards. So if you have any piece of feedback that you want to add, it really takes it a huge amount of time to make that change. Finally, with some of these AI tools, there's a privacy concern where your company might not be comfortable sharing their data with them. And so you might not have it enabled at your firm. For those reasons, I still think that creating your own manual dashboards, especially with a software like Power BI, which I think is best in the market, can still make sense. So if you want to learn how to do exactly that, you can check out our Power BI for Business Analytics course. In our all-inclusive curriculum, we start with data cleaning and transformation using Power BI. Then we get into data visualization tools, followed by DAX or data analysis expressions, which is what you use to build formulas in Power BI. Then to simulate real work scenarios, we'll practice using two extensive case studies, where one will focus on a PNL dashboard from scratch on Nike, while the other focuses on visualizing McDonald's European restaurant operations. Currently, 97% of Fortune 500 companies use Power BI. So if you're looking to invest in yourself, head over to a link in the description below. Awesome, you should watch this video over here if you wanna learn to make your first Power BI dashboard in just 15 minutes. 
or click this button over here to take our Power BI course. Hit that like and the subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.